What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Cricut Magic 5G and the Cricut Innovate E5G. Now, spoiler alert, these phones are honestly so similar that there are really not very many differences between the two, but throughout this video, I am going to go over what's changed to give you a better idea of what to expect from each phone. Now, as always, if you do want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So with the Cricut Magic 5G, we're getting a 6.6 inch 90Hz IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 286, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. With the Cricut Innovate E5G, we're getting a 6.6 inch 60Hz IPS LCD display, so the refresh rate is a bit lower. We are also getting a 720p resolution, a PPI of 286, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. So honestly, these phones are pretty much identical when it comes to the display. But again, the Cricut Magic 5G does have a 90Hz refresh rate versus the standard 60 with the Cricut Innovate E5G. So this is going to make the movement on the screen with the Magic 5G a bit faster and smoother, and this will make the phone feel a bit more premium to use. But honestly, as you can kind of see, you can't really tell the difference a whole lot, so definitely not really any major differences here. But in general, keep in mind, despite not having the most amazing displays, with these phones they are at least decently good, so if you're more of a light user and maybe you're you're watching the occasional video every now and then, or browsing the web, using social media, stuff like that, but really nothing too crazy. The displays here will be perfectly fine. Now for storage, both phones have 64 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, so pretty decent here. On one hand at this point in late 2023, 64 gigabytes is really not that much, but at the same time, I feel like for the average user, as long as you're mindful of what you're putting on your phone, it will probably be at least enough. But if you are more of a power user, if you're someone who's constantly downloading apps and games and stuff like that, you are going to want to get something with a bit more storage. And again, remember, both phones here do support micro SD card expansion, so if you want to offload stuff like photos and videos to save space, this will make a difference. For security features, both phones have face unlock, and they both have fingerprint scanners right here on the back. So yeah, pretty much the exact same design, and you will notice throughout this video, most things about these phones are pretty similar. But definitely nice to get both face unlock and a fingerprint scanner, while not being rare per se, even in this price range. The flexibility is always a good thing. But starting with the Cricut Magic 5G, let's give the fingerprint scanners a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the Cricut Innovate E5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, both fingerprint scanners worked real well. With the Cricut Magic 5G, we got that kind of animation that I thought was pretty cool. But because of this, it did take a bit longer. Whereas with the Cricut Innovate E5G, it was a bit more snappy. But honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really going to make a huge difference. Now for the cameras here, I will say they're pretty much exactly the same. But essentially, up front, we got a couple water drop notches for the selfie cameras. Both are 5 megapixels. Then on the back, we got dual camera setups. Pretty featureless, but at least decent. So we got 13 megapixel main cameras here and two megapixel depth sensing cameras. So yeah, really no difference. And then for video, both phones have a max recording quality of 2K in both the rear and front cameras. So you're not really gonna see any kind of difference when it comes to the camera, but also keep in mind, Despite being relatively featureless, these cameras are actually quite a bit better than they look. While you're definitely not going to want to do like real mobile photography or anything like that, if you're taking the occasional maybe Instagram photo or something like that, either camera here will at least get the job done. So if you're someone who doesn't necessarily need a ton of features or really care about the camera that much at all, but you do still want the ability to take a nice photo when you need to. Despite, again, not being the best cameras, what we get with either phone here will be at least good enough. Now to give you an idea of what they can do, first, here's some pictures taken with the Cricut Magic 5G. So again, as you can see here, while not necessarily being amazing or anything, I do think the photo quality is at least good enough, so for more light casual users, which is really what this phone is essentially meant for, the camera on this phone will get the job done. And then here's a couple pictures taken with the Cricut Innovate E5G and really, again, it's essentially the same kind of thing. So I definitely wouldn't use the camera as a deciding factor between these two. But overall, if you are looking for a really affordable phone, but you still want at least a halfway decent camera, then either phone here will get the job done. 
Now for the Ram and processor, these phones are, surprise, surprise, exactly the same, both getting four gigabytes of RAM and the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor. So yeah, you're not gonna see a difference in performance either, but I will say, despite being kind of old by now, for what it is, the MediaTek Dimensity 700 is pretty good. So for basic activities like web browsing, social media, streaming content like videos and music, and maybe some light mobile gaming, either phone will get the job done just fine. Now I ran a benchmark test on each phone using Geekbench 6, and here are the results I got. So as you can see here, there's really not a huge difference. Yeah, the multi-core score with the Magic 5G is a bit higher, but in general, in my experience, the performance is basically around the same level, so. I mean, they do have the same processor, it's not really surprising, so. Again, I definitely wouldn't use it as a deciding factor between the two, but just keep in mind, again, for basic daily activities, they will get the job done in, honestly, even compared to a lot of mid-range phones. For what they are, I do think these phones are pretty fast. Now for the batteries, both phones have 4,000 mAh batteries, and they do support, I believe, 10 watt fast charging, which honestly is not really fast charging, but since the batteries aren't the largest, you should see decent charging speeds. Now, keep in mind, on one hand, a 4,000 mAh battery is not bad at all. In fact, for most people, you'll probably only have to charge it at the end of the day. But at the same time, if battery life and longevity is really a priority for you, keep in mind, at this point in 2023, even for the really low-end phones like these, you can pretty easily find a phone that has a 5,000 mAh battery. So, if you really want the best battery you can get for the money, then especially considering the deals Cricut typically has for other phones, I do think you can do better. But if you're really just looking for a decent battery to get you through the day and really not that much else, then either phone will be okay. Now for the software, this is really the main difference, because with the Cricut Magic 5G, we are getting Android 13, whereas with the Innovate E5G, this phone only has Android 12. So honestly, I guess this is Cricut's version of a software update. Instead of actually giving us an update, they basically just drop a new phone that's exactly the same with a slightly newer software. So make of that what you will, but keep in mind on one hand, neither phone is exactly outdated. I mean, at this point, since we're really barely getting into Android 14, Android 12 isn't like a dinosaur or anything. But at the same time, I mean, a year from now, it's probably gonna get pretty outdated. And while a lot of people might not really care about that, I feel like if you're spending the money on a new phone anyway, especially between phones like these, you might as well get the one that has a slightly newer software. So despite still not being Android 14, unfortunately, the Magic 5G is of course a bit newer, so it does have an advantage here. And then for other features, luckily both phones have NFC. So if you like to use tap and pay, keep in mind with either phone here, you can use that feature no problem. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? Now, honestly, with this comparison, I feel like the real question is, is there even a difference? And really, in most ways, there's honestly not. That being said though, the Cricut Magic 5G again does have a slightly higher refresh rate at 90Hz versus 60Hz, so this is gonna make the screen feel a bit more premium. Granted, it's really not a huge difference, but it is a difference all the same. In addition to this, Probably the only really significant thing here is that with the Magic 5G, we are getting Android 13, whereas with the Cricut Innovate E5G, this phone only has Android 12. And keep in mind, with carrier branded phones like these, it's not impossible, but it's extremely unlikely that these phones will ever get any kind of major updates, so definitely don't expect the Innovate E5G to get Android 13 or the Magic 5G to get Android 14. With Cricut phones, I've never seen that before, so in general with either phone, the software you get here is pretty much what you're stuck with. But overall, on one hand, if you find yourself with a Cricut Innovate E5G, you're pretty much going to get the same experience, but if you either have one already, or you're trying to decide between these two, first of all, I would definitely not upgrade to the Magic 5G, because as you've clearly seen throughout this video, there are basically no real significant differences. But if you are trying to decide between the two, I would go with the Magic 5G, because in comparison with this phone, you're basically getting the exact same phone with a slightly newer software, so it really just makes sense. But in general, if you're looking for an affordable 5G phone for more basic activities, either phone here will definitely get the job done. But this concludes my comparison between the Cricut Magic 5G and the Cricut Innovate E5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram, and as always, I will see you in the next video.